I would spill the tea on the steaming pile of absolute new age gobbledygook rubbish that I received yesterday unsolicited on Instagram. So I'm spilling the tea today as promised. I'm sharing it with you for a couple of reasons. One is it's a fantastic example of what some people think is a reading and it's actually just a lot of very general statements cobbled together, but it sounds fantastic. When I read it to you, you're probably thinking, I'm gonna love this reading. Like if I didn't know any better, I would love to have this reading. Let me share it with you now. We're gonna talk through what makes it rubbish and I'm gonna read it to you because it is just so freaking good. And I want you to count along with me how many general statements this reading is, how many statements that could apply to anyone. You could pull this stuff out of a fortune cookie, cobbled together, sounds fantastic. Totally unsolicited, right? You are standing in your power at this time, exclamation mark. There is a lot of growth headed towards you, exclamation mark. The spirit is removing blockages from your path so your abundance can come in. This sounds fantastic, right? I see the energy around you gaining momentum to lead you to many successes. Fourth statement. I see financial blockages being removed and money coming towards you. Who wouldn't want that? Right, that's five statements, I'm running out of fingers, right? Six, I see you going through a major glow up and many eyes being on you. Awesome. Spirit, spirit wants to enjoy this energy. It's your time to shine. But so far, we've got eight, right? She doesn't stop there. And this is the warning, right? She goes, spirit, is also highlighting the need for you to trust your own intuition and no one else's at this time. I see unwarranted advice coming from someone around you. Yeah, honey, you. So that was about 12 general statements in there. Statements that sound good could apply to most people, but there was absolutely nothing specific in there. So I get a little bit cheeky. Yeah, this is very nice, thanks, but unsolicited. And the info is very general and it can be applied to many people to be true. And then she goes into convincing mode. And this is when I realized it was a cut and paste thingy because she said, it's totally fine to be unsure, but I want to assure you that what I'm saying is not from my own initiative, but from your spirit guides, my spirit guides. And that's when I got a little bit cheeky. And I said, that's great. But if it was from my guides, there would be direct evidence and that's specific to me with detail if it's from the guides it's got to be 100 percent correct and it's going to be detail my guides are not going to give me fortune cookie style new age lorem it's some that can be applied to everyone anyway and i said still there's no actual evidence here in what you're saying to me there's no detail that says this is anything but a cut and paste script and in the end i said Sounds like you could use some better psychic techniques here so you can get the deeper details and get a bit more accurate reading because that's what people need. Lucky I can teach you this. Would you like to sign up for a class? That was me being really cheeky. But what I want to say is this kind of reading is dangerous because it preys on people's needs. And if I didn't know better, I would go, wow, that sounds amazing. Especially if you're feeling, you know, in a bit of a hole or you're feeling down or you really need a little bit of upliftment. Reading like that, awesome. I would be primed to pand over money to get more of this gobbledygook. And that's why it's dangerous. The other thing is that all of these statements, there's a name for this. I mean, I know there's plenty of names for this. <laughs> There's an, there's an official name and they are called Barnum statements. Barnum as in P.T. Barnum, the greatest show on earth, you know, the showman, the one that Hugh Jackson played as the circus leader, P.T. Barnum. His famous line was, there's something for everyone. And these days, a Barnum statement, especially in the world of readings, is something that's so general, it can apply to everyone. Body. And there's been studies and great tests done. There's a very famous 
um, psychological study that was done with these tests. And it's done because people are humans. We we want to hear the best. We are our brains want to hear that. This is why we get sucked into these readings because we're human and we love to hear that. And also our brains look for patterns and they look for similarities and they look for confirmation. Another way of saying this is confirmation bias. That's another thing our brains love to do is they just like to look for the stuff that fits the stuff we already know. And so. If we get a reading that's vague in general, sometimes our brains will just make up the rest and they'll come away and we'll go, oh my God, that's an amazing reading. She was so accurate. And maybe she was and maybe she wasn't, or maybe he just gave some general statements like this with absolutely no backup to it and no evidence and nothing specific about their lives to actually make it feel like it's for them. A Barnum statement is one of those general statements and many people use those statements and and sometimes from genuine a good place and i'm not saying everyone's a scammer by any means but sometimes in a reading they tend to play safe and go really general but that's not where the meat is that's not where the healing is that's not where the, the good stuff is it is in the specifics so why am i ranging about this is because I know, and I know some of you already follow me and I know you already know about evidential mediumship and evidential psychic work. That's the difference. We, we need to be able to prove our connection. Like I challenged this lady, Martha Salaka, S, well, I've already shown her name. You can go find her on the internet, scamming away. Um, we need to know that that reading is connected to us, our soul. If it's a psychic reading, we wanna know that you're connected to our soul and our soul is going to give you specifics beyond you're on a major glow up right now and there's abundance coming to you. Uh, if you want the color reading, they're around. Go, go get the $5 a minute hotlines. You can get that if that's what you want. But I have a feeling that you're hanging around here because you know there's something more. And there is another standard around for readings and it's called evidential readings. And this is the difference. So I was a bit cheeky. She didn't respond. I don't think she's going to sign up to a class somehow. I don't think she's going to end up in Soul Squad, which is my mediumship mentorship um, group somehow. And that's okay. But beware. Watch this back. See how many general statements that you can find. And then as you do that, you'll become more aware of your own readings. Or when you get a reading, you'll be able to have that level of discernment and go, Oh, that was a bit general. Oh, that was a bit general. Can you tell me more? I don't quite understand that. Can you give me some more information on that? That's how you encourage a reader to give you more information. Or if you are a reader, we're going to go three or four levels deeper than maybe what we're used to doing. That's evidential mediumship. That's evidential psychic work. So I hope you enjoyed spilling the tea today. I had a bit of fun sharing it with you. Uh, love to know what you think in the comments. Hit me with them below. See how many statements you picked out for yourself and, and what your thoughts are. Okay.